the cardiovascular system exploring the heart and blood vessels. Introduction. Hello and welcome to our video on the cardiovascular system. In this video, we will be discussing the heart and blood vessels, and how they work together to keep our body functioning properly. Part 1. The Heart. The heart is an essential component of the cardiovascular system and is responsible for pumping blood throughout the body. The heart is a muscular organ that is about the size of a fist and is located in the chest cavity. It is divided into four chambers, which include the left and right atria, and the left and right ventricles. The atria receive blood from the body and lungs, while the ventricles pump blood out to the body and lungs. The heart is made up of specialized cardiac muscle tissue that contracts and relaxes in a coordinated manner to ensure that blood is pumped efficiently throughout the body. The heart also contains a specialized conduction system that regulates the heartbeat and ensures that the different chambers contract in the correct sequence. Maintaining a healthy heart is essential for overall health and well-being. Some ways to keep your heart healthy include eating a healthy diet, getting regular exercise, managing stress levels, and avoiding smoking and excessive alcohol consumption. Regular checkups with a healthcare provider can also help detect any potential heart problems early on. Part 2. Blood Vessels. Now let's move on to blood vessels. There are three types of blood vessels, arteries, veins, and capillaries. Arteries carry blood away from the heart and towards the rest of the body. Veins carry blood back to the heart from the rest of the body. Capillaries are tiny blood vessels that connect arteries and veins, allowing for the exchange of nutrients and waste products between the blood and tissues. Arteries and veins have three layers, the tunica intima, tunica media, and tunica externa. The tunica intima is the innermost layer, composed of endothelial cells. The tunica media is the middle layer, composed of smooth muscle and elastic tissue. The tunica externa is the outermost layer, composed of connective tissue. Blood vessels are an essential part of the cardiovascular system, responsible for the transportation of blood throughout the body. Blood vessels are divided into three types, arteries, veins, and capillaries. Arteries are the blood vessels that carry oxygen-rich blood away from the heart and into the body's tissues. They have thick walls made of muscle and elastic fibers to help them withstand the pressure of blood pumped by the heart. Veins are the blood vessels that carry oxygen-poor blood back to the heart from the body's tissues. Unlike arteries, veins have thinner walls and less elastic tissue. They rely on the contraction of surrounding muscles to help move the blood back to the heart. Capillaries are the smallest and most numerous blood vessels in the body, responsible for the exchange of oxygen and nutrients between the blood and body tissues. They are thin-walled and allow for the diffusion of gases and nutrients. The blood vessel walls are composed of three layers, the intima, media, and adventitia. The intima is the innermost layer, composed of a single layer of cells that provide a smooth surface for blood flow. The media is the middle layer, composed of smooth muscle cells and elastic fibers that allow the vessel to expand and contract. The adventitia is the outermost layer, composed of connective tissue that supports and anchors the vessel. The health of our blood vessels is essential for maintaining overall cardiovascular health. Factors such as high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and smoking can damage the blood vessels and lead to the development of cardiovascular disease. It is important to maintain a healthy lifestyle and monitor these risk factors to prevent and manage cardiovascular disease. Part 3. Blood Flow Blood flow is an important concept to understand when it comes to the cardiovascular system. Blood flows from areas of high pressure to areas of low pressure. The heart pumps blood out into the arteries, which have a higher pressure than the veins. This pressure difference is what helps to keep blood flowing towards the heart. There are also one-way valves in the veins that prevent the backflow of blood. These valves are particularly important in the legs, where blood has to flow against gravity to return to the heart. Blood flow is essential for the delivery of oxygen and nutrients to tissues and organs, as well as the removal of waste products from the body. In this section, the structure and function of blood vessels are discussed, as well as the regulation of blood pressure. The cardiovascular system is composed of a network of blood vessels, including arteries, veins, and capillaries. Arteries carry oxygenated blood away from the heart and into the tissues, while veins bring deoxygenated blood back to the heart for oxygenation. Capillaries are the smallest blood vessels in the body and allow for the exchange of oxygen, nutrients, and waste products between the blood and tissues. Blood flow is regulated by a complex interplay of factors, including the diameter of blood vessels, the force of the heartbeat, and the viscosity of the blood. The body has a number of mechanisms to regulate blood pressure and ensure that blood flow is sufficient to meet the needs of the body. One of the most important mechanisms for regulating blood pressure is the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system. 
This system helps to maintain blood pressure by increasing the retention of salt and water by the kidneys, which increases blood volume and helps to raise blood pressure. This system is activated in response to low blood pressure or low blood flow to the kidneys. When blood flow is disrupted or blocked, it can lead to serious health problems, including heart attack and stroke. Atherosclerosis, or the buildup of plaque in the arteries, is a common cause of blocked blood flow and can lead to heart disease. Other factors that can disrupt blood flow include blood clots, aneurysms, and inflammation. Overall, understanding blood flow within the cardiovascular system is crucial for maintaining good health and preventing cardiovascular disease. By maintaining healthy lifestyle habits, such as eating a balanced diet and getting regular exercise, individuals can help to support healthy blood flow and reduce their risk of developing cardiovascular disease. Part 4. Heart Disease Unfortunately, heart disease is a common problem that affects many people. Heart disease can occur when there is a blockage in one or more of the blood vessels that supply the heart muscle with blood. This can cause chest pain, shortness of breath, and even heart attack. There are many risk factors for heart disease, including high blood pressure, high cholesterol, smoking, diabetes, and a family history of heart disease. Lifestyle changes, such as eating a healthy diet, getting regular exercise, and quitting smoking, can help to reduce the risk of heart disease. Heart disease is a serious medical condition that affects millions of people worldwide. It is a term used to describe a range of heart-related conditions that can have a significant impact on a person's health and quality of life. Some common types of heart disease include coronary artery disease, heart failure, and arrhythmias. Coronary artery disease occurs when the arteries that supply blood to the heart become narrowed or blocked due to the buildup of fatty deposits called plaque. This can cause chest pain or discomfort, known as angina, and can lead to a heart attack if the blood flow to the heart is completely blocked. Heart failure occurs when the heart is unable to pump enough blood to meet the body's needs. This can cause symptoms such as shortness of breath, fatigue, and swelling in the legs and feet. Arrhythmias are irregular heartbeats that can cause the heart to beat too fast, too slow, or in an irregular pattern. This can lead to symptoms such as palpitations, lightheadedness, and fainting. While heart disease can be a serious and life-threatening condition, there are steps that can be taken to reduce the risk of developing it. Some of these steps include maintaining a healthy diet, getting regular exercise, quitting smoking, and managing conditions such as high blood pressure and diabetes. For those who have already been diagnosed with heart disease, there are also treatments available to help manage the condition and improve quality of life. These treatments may include medications, lifestyle changes, and surgical procedures such as bypass surgery or angioplasty. Overall, it is important to understand the risks associated with heart disease and take steps to prevent it or manage it if it is already present. By making healthy lifestyle choices and working closely with a healthcare provider, it is possible to reduce the impact of heart disease and improve overall health and well-being. Part 5. Conclusion in conclusion, the cardiovascular system is an incredibly important system in our bodies. The heart and blood vessels work together to transport oxygen and nutrients throughout the body, while also removing waste products. Understanding how the cardiovascular system works can help us to make healthy lifestyle choices and prevent heart disease. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this video informative. Thanks for watching.